All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeff. We're back here onto some more Modern Warfare. No fucking surprise. It's literally been my content for months now. To be honest, I don't really know what else to play. I mean, I'm playing other games, but not. I don't really know what to make videos on, if that makes any sense. Modern Warfare has a shit ton of content in terms of, like, how you can mess around with all the different guns and shit. I have a lot of different ideas. So today, I'm deciding to go with this. So, if you haven't played the game in the past, uh, I would say the past week or so, you may have noticed, especially at the beginning of the release of Modern Warfare, we all know that the 725 was the most ridiculous gun in the entire game. The range was ridiculous, the damage was ridiculous, everybody was running it. You basically couldn't play any smaller-ish map without running into it. And honestly, you could run into it on, you know, ground war and shit too, and people would still have it as their secondaries, and they'll just blast you away from rooftops and shit. I'm not exaggerating. 725 before was basically the most ridiculous, most overpowered shotgun I've seen in a long time on Call of Duty. It's not as ridiculous as, you know, the Model 1887s were back in MW2 and shit, but the fact that you could even draw a comparison to it is disgusting. So what some people found out, uh, I'm not sure if this is meant to be this way or if it's uh, just the attachment doing its job and damage is just damage and it is what it is. But before, in order to be able to use all of the range and all that other shit and basically make the most OP version of the 725, people were putting a whole bunch of uh, range extending attachments on it. Anything that extended the damage range and just overall uh, control for just, you know, a controlled, concentrated shot at distance without using slug rounds, that is. Those are the attachments that people would use all that time. Recently, you may have noticed a small resurgence for it, but this time it's the sawed off version of the 725. For whatever reason, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a certain combination of the sawed off attachment plus the choke attachment that I have here on the edge of it, but this thing's range is kind of gross and really, really close range. No one survives. If you're able to hit them with the entire shell, that's where the choke comes in. Aim down sight and blast people with this thing. It's, it's pretty accurate. I'm telling now, given if you're like the general public where everybody just spams uh, shipment and whatever, all like, you know, 24-7 just going into those small map playlists, I mean, yeah, of course you're gonna run into shotguns, right? Shotguns, explosives, anything in there, and I'm getting the fuck out of this game because it is absolute. So, I've been running into this more often here. Before, we would be using this 32-inch competition barrel, and it would just be ridiculous range with that thing. I mean, you can just go back and look at, you know, the Platinum 725 video, Damascus 725, anything. You can go back to any of those videos and just see how ridiculously broken the 7251. You get a faster aim down sight speed, faster move speed, fighter pellet spread, your damage range goes down, and your recoil control goes down, but it, recoil, it's not really a big deal with shotguns, in my opinion. The sawed off stock just for, you know, just pocket sake. Basically, this thing is just the cutest little, it reminds me of the Ranger. You guys remember the Akimbo Rangers from MW2? That's the type of shit that this thing reminds me of. It's got some damage. But the sawed off, it does increase your damage by a shit ton. I mean, it is absolutely lethal close range. Like, he stands no chance. Even a glancing blow at close range kills the shit out of you. And I mean close range, like 5, 10 meters, some shit like that. But that's where the choke comes in. Now, I can't tell if the choke or the monolithic suppressor is better, but the choke tightens that pellet spread that makes it pretty ridiculous. It brings it in a little bit. So if you're using your ADS, you actually get a lot more range when you're aiming down sight with this thing with this choke on. It's a lot more than it looks anyway. It just says tighter pellet spread and damage, but it doesn't say anything about range. But I'm telling you, it feels like it does. Obviously, take sleight of hand on there just, you know, to be quick and formidable as a secondary or whatever. I've been using it as a secondary. Like I was saying, it's a cute little pocket range. It would be fun if you could have them akimbo, though. Like, if you make them small or light enough, you'll be allowed to make it akimbo or something like that. Like, if you have, like, maybe two movement speed attachments or something, like a sawed-off stock, sawed-off barrel, it should give you access to, like, a special perk for akimbo or some shit like that, because I'm only saying it like that because I can't imagine the two 32-inch barrels on the end with two of these motherfuckers. Do I feel bad about using it sometimes, but they nerfed the ever-living shit out of it, and not as many people are using it, uh, but its resurgence is definitely real. If you've been seeing it more often, I have the past few days. That's why I'm even curious about the gun again to begin with. Like I said yesterday, this 725 hits harder than the truth. This shit hits like a Mack truck. This shit hits like my... F Never mind. It's gonna be a pretty dark joke about my dad, but uh, we'll leave it there. Regardless, this thing is fucking lethal.
okay? You guys actually ended up seeing it in my video yesterday where I nearly dropped the nuke. I started out with a fucking five on with that thing. It's gross. They've also made that change to the kill feed, by the way. I forgot to mention it the other night. When they put out this update where they ended up fixing all of the uh, weird issues with the kill feed and stuff, basically, usually when you get a kill on the kill feed, it'll pop up. You got a kill there. If you get four kills, all four of those kills will line up right there, and then they will disappear in the order in which that they appeared on there first. What was happening with the kill feed was you would end up getting four kills, but then randomly the third kill will disappear as if it were the first kill, like it happened longer ago. And that's not just some sort of like little nitpick or something like that either. That's a genuine issue with the game to not display all of that information accurately. Imagine if you were sitting there playing competitively, you ended up taking a couple people out and you're looking at the scoreboard and shit, trying to figure out who's spawning, who's coming off their spawn, who's coming out. But you can't tell because all the information you're getting down there is unreliable. So they ended up, uh, quote, fixing it. I don't know if anybody has noticed any weird issues with it, but they apparently tried to push fixes through before and it really didn't do anything, so. But with this recent update, it seems like they've fixed it. <laughs> nice peek, dumbass. Oh! Got, Got him. Whoa! I'm, he slid! Shit, the only thing that hits harder than this is a fucking warhead. You know those sour ass candies? It's not even an enjoyable sour, it's just. I mean, I could do this all day. Dude, they nerfed it. What are you talking about? It's not nearly as strong as it used to be, but I'm telling you, those attachments, don't fuck with this thing. I'm telling you, it might be short and stubby, but keep fucking playing. It may be short and stubby, but it is as solid as a fucking boulder. It is immovable. It's tenacity. It's fortitude. It's everything. It is steadfast in its existence. See, I'm not even short and stubby or anything like that, but people always wanted to try to make jokes about us phase members being short and shit like that, especially me and uh, Apex. People always went in on that whole Apex is short shit. The face house back in like 2015, 2016, whatever the fuck it was. I stood next to Apex. Apex is like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, he ain't even that short. I've met much shorter people. People cannot stand getting killed by a shotgun because you have to kill them in like a really obnoxious way half the time. It just doesn't feel good. This man's calling out rotations. Grow up. It's a pub, man. There's no one on our team that's even paying attention to their screens, let alone making call outs. Relax. Kind of going off right there. You don't know shit about- Yeah, it ain't worth your time, you fucking right. You need to go do something that's worth your time, pussy boy. Keep that same fucking energy, though, because you got fucking shit. And you can keep pretending like going 3 and 17 is doing something for you, but- <laughs> Good luck, man! Yeah, I mean, this 725, this shit is nice. It might be small, it might be little, but I'm telling you, this shit hits like a fucking- Some jokes about it, call it the chode gun, call it whatever you want, but once that shit blasts you, give it a shot in a pub match here and there if you like it, you know, whatever. Uh, you'll probably definitely get a whole bunch of flame. People definitely don't like being killed by shotguns or one-shot weapons in general. So, I mean, we hear those complaints all the time as snipers, but yeah, it's actually pretty formidable. So, if, you know, I play at the medium long-range area, and then when somebody gets in close, boom, boom, you got shoddy snipes. It's like Halo all over again. I might go play some Halo.